help me in my walk with you. This is a new year. Say that, Lord, open my sight, O oh God. Open my inner eyes so that I can serve you. I don't know what is that special place that God is calling you into. Because the place of service is the place of reward. We can fast from now till end of the year. But a place where you serve, a place where you dig, where you call, there is a shaking. Say, Daddy, open my eyes this year, oh God. Daddy, Lord, I want to love you more. Father, Lord, I want to love you more. I want to serve you. Father, I want to give myself to you. I only don't want to come to see what you give, but I want to give. Because he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. And it says to whom much has been given, much is required. Brethren, let us open our heart this morning. Say, Father, Lord, use me for your glory. Say, Daddy, use me for your glory, O God, in this dimension. Why you are moving, O God. Father, use me for your glory. Daddy, make me an agent of change. Daddy, use me for your glory. Father, use me for your glory. Father, use me for your glory, O God. Father, Lord, use me for your glory. Father, use me for your glory. Daddy, Lord, use me for your glory. Daddy, Lord, I ask this morning, I don't know how many praying this this morning. Say, Daddy, use us for your glory, O God. Just for your glory alone. He said, who shall I send? Who will stand in the gap? Brethren, let us open our mouth this morning. Say, Father, use me for your glory. And I tell you, he cannot use you if you are not available. Say, Daddy, Lord, send me. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. He says that the harvest is full, but the laborers have few. He says, send ye the God of the harvest. Say, Daddy, Lord, at this season, oh God, Father, use me for your glory. Daddy, use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, this year when uh, I think someone was ministering, and what he said was that, that there's a short time. He said, act now. I think it was our brother Sukumbo was saying it. That that was the first message that this year there is no time. There is no much time. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time to waste around. Souls are dying. There are people dying around us. Things are happening. But what we do for Christ is what we last. What we do for Christ is what we last. Brethren, let us pray this last prayer. Say, Daddy, Lord, use me for your glory. Father, use me, O God, for your glory. O God, for your name, O God. Daddy, Lord, use me. It says, I said yes, I said yes. Say, Daddy, use me for your glory. O God, Daddy, give me the passion for souls. Give me the passion to work for you. The passion, O God. The passion, the passion, the passion to do all for you. Father, I give it unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask this morning, O oh God, that what hurts you will hurt us. Holy Spirit, help us to even move in this dimension, O oh God. Father, open our eyes, O oh God. Daddy, open our eyes to know you more. Father, open our eyes to do more for you. Open our eyes to serve you more. Father, open our eyes to even know our calling, to know the essence, to know our purpose, to know our living, that we're not just living to exist but to, to be purposeful. Father, we pray that this new year that you will open our eyes, oh God. That, Lord, as the wave is going, oh God, that, Lord, it will not stop. Father, we ask that the fire of the living God we, in, we, we embase, oh us. The fire of the, the Lord we, we equip us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask that we will not just remain ordinary, oh God. Holy Spirit, we ask, oh God, that you will empower us this new year, even to do more for you. Father, we thank you. Daddy, Lord, we give you all the glory. Father, we bless you. We worship you. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Shall we all rise up? Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. Singing glory, glory. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lord. 
Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you all the honor and adoration. Let's just worship him. Let's bless him. Let's wave our hands to him. Let's thank him. Let's appreciate him. The one that has given us life is a giver of life. If you are, if someone is dead now, he no longer knows what is going on behind him or her. But it's the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. It's not by your power, it's not by your might, it's not by the knowledge that you have. It's not by how much you can do things. But it's the Lord's mercy. It's the Lord's mercy. What makes you different from those people in Afghanistan? There are human beings there. What makes you different from the Boko Haram that are killing people? It's just grace. And that we learn to appreciate the grace the more. The more we appreciate the grace, the more the grace multiplies. That Lord, I thank you, I worship you. In the name of Jesus. I want us to be in the attitude of worship this morning. Focus on God. Just you and God. As we enter into his presence. As we come into his court. The holies of holies. I enter in the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you holy. I enter to honor. I stand in the holies of holy. I stand in the blood of the Lamb. I stand to worship you holy. I stand here to honor. I worship you. I worship you. Lord, I worship you. I worship you. She is holy, oh, I am. 
Let's pray that, Lord, let your holiness rub on me. That, Lord, let your holiness come on me. Let your holiness rub on me. Can we just turn that to a secret? Lord, let your holiness rub on me. There is no one who's the holiness of God rubs on and does not transform. Lord, let your holiness Rob on me. Father, we thank you, Lord. We worship you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Are we good? Okay. But there is a uh, Hit her head. So let's dance before God. I command my body to praise the Lord. I command my body to praise the Lord. So now I command my body to praise the Lord. You tell your body, I command my body to praise the Lord. I command my body. I command my body. You know 
sometimes you don't feel like doing things, but you can speak to your body. That my body, praise the Lord, stand up. Praise the Lord, dance now. He said, Worship the Lord, oh my soul. I command my body to praise the Lord. 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 I command, I command my body to praise the Lord. I command my body to praise the Lord. I command, I command my body to praise the Lord. I command my body to praise the Lord. Oh, my body, body, praise the Lord. Body, praise the Lord. My body, body. the Lord. This is the day he asked me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord, praise ye the Lord, oh my God. This is the day he asked me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, praise ye the Lord, oh my soul. This is the day he has made. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise ye the Lord! Praise ye the Lord! Praise ye the Lord, oh my soul! This is the day he has made. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise ye the Lord! Oh, come on! Joyful and triumphant, oh come ye, oh come ye to Bethlehem. How oh, blessed be holy, born the King of angels, oh come let us adore you, oh come let us Yeah. 
Set our praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's begin to wave those heads to God. That Lord, you alone is worthy of our praise. God, I thank you. I worship your holy name. Lord, I thank you. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let's just, let's wave those hands to him. Let's bless him. This is the end. Your holy presence. Live in Oh, 
desperate of is not Jesus, then why are we here? 
That's a powerful ministration song. Pastor said this is the year of the reward. I'm, I'm giving an announcement, but I need to get that straight off my chest. Because it bothers me when we're having workers meeting and there's only six people or seven people in the midst of us. Why can't they all, they all church? Why can't everybody be a worker? Why? To serve God? But we go to our offices without being late. You ought to see people going to work 90 miles an hour to go and pay check. But when it's time to come to church, you, you drag your feet. I know I'm, I'm speaking through the heart of someone this morning. Why can't you be, why can't you work for God? I thought that song said only what you do for Christ will last. So it's, it's very puzzling. Good morning, church. You can't go quiet on me because I have to say stuff off my chest. It bothers my spirit a whole lot. When you don't miss work, you work overtime to do what? And you still don't have money in your account. Do something for God. May God help us all. It is my heart's desire when everybody's getting blessed in this church and the parking lot is, is filled with expensive cars but it just don't come without you doing anything for God the year of the reward make it count I'm telling you the pastor can pronounce all he wants but if you're not doing your part nothing's going to happen oh December 31st I thought the pastor said it's a year of the reward why did I get anything because you didn't put in your own part may God help us it, 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 some things just Puzzle my spirit. Why can't you do it for God? Let me go straight to the announcement before I start preaching. Sunday school is 10 to 11. Sunday worship service from 11 to 1 p.m. Wednesday Bible study is still on Zoom. I said that because our monthly Friday our prayer will be in church. So take note of that. Second Friday of the month is our prayer meeting. is at 7.30 p.m. Every last Sunday of the month is early communion service. Every last Friday, the night vigil will be held in church. Take note of that. We're not having it on Zoom anymore, no, or YouTube. You're coming to church. One Saturday of the month is our women's meeting. First Sunday of the month is our Thanksgiving Sunday. Like I said earlier, there's workers meeting immediately after the service. I don't know, five, ten minutes. So, you know, if you want to join, it doesn't cost you anything. Just be a part. Do something where nobody knows you are even doing something in the church. If you want to be discreet, you can do that. Let's make this year count. Second Sunday, Sunday of the month. Before you know this, February and it's March. It's April. It's gone. I'm speaking to, to somebody this morning. Make that count. Blessing time. And our mask mandate, please, it's still on. This mask mask is not what is actually protected. It is the blood of Jesus. But wisdom is profitable to direct. When you put it in on, you actually, you know, t the, the, telling the next person that, okay, I'm, I'm, safe, I'm good on this side. Let's, let's, let's make it a mandate. It doesn't cost anything to put on your mask. You don't wear it, Walmart kicks you out or every other place you go to. So why should it be an accruing task to, to put it on in church? May God help us as we do so. My sister's trying to say something. Yes, it's not the mouth, the nose. Because when you sneeze, you're actually sending out, you know, the whatever is in, in, in your nose. May God help us. Cash up, well, blessing time, offering time. I'm just a little peeved in my spirit this morning, so, uh, you know, excuse me for that. Because... When you come, you've been in this church for so long and you can't, you can't point out to one thing that you've been doing. Why? I'm sorry I have to go back to that again. Cash app is FC Ministry at Yahoo.com. PayPal is FC Ministry at Yahoo.com. Hazel is 240-593-2570. Let's rise up as we give our offering. And as you do so, the Lord will richly bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I have a father that will never, never fail me. He loves his life.
what you are going through, no matter what you are seeing, if our heart is for him, he never fails. Amen. God never disappoints. You probably pass through things now. You probably say, oh, that's the end. But it's not the end with God. God can say no to you. We are sorry, we're not going to give to you. In your own mind, you say, oh, that's the end of it. No, God is working behind the scene. Hallelujah. Because sometimes we don't see what's going on and God look at look at us sometimes and look, oh, I'm walking around with that very thing. Son saying no to you now don't mean that's the end of that very thing. Sometimes our disappointment is not disappointment for God. Hallelujah. It's not to God because it's working on things that we don't see. God never failed. Hallelujah. Amen. To his child, to them that call upon him in truth and in spirit. He never fails. Hallelujah. Amen. So God that never fails, let us lift our voice and say, begin to thank him. Let us begin to appreciate him. I know we have been in worship. We have thanked him. I want to go back to him again and say, Father, I just thank you because you never fail, that you're always with me. Let's thank him that everyone can leave you. He's the only one that will not leave you. Because he has said it, I will not leave you. Neither I will forsake you. Let's lift our voice. The love of God is for sure. The love of God is everlasting. The love of God is great. The love of God is good. The love of God is kind. So let's lift our voice to Jehovah God. Daddy, I just thank you for your faithfulness over me, for your grace over my life, for your grace over my children, for your grace in my family. Let's thank him. Let's begin to appreciate him. Let's give that honor to Jehovah God. Let's give that honor to him. That Lord, we thank you because you fail it not. You are righteous God. You are king of kings. You are the ancients of days. Thank him. Give that praise to him. Give that honor to him. Give that worship to him. Give that praise to him. Give that praise to Jehovah God. Let's appreciate daddy. Let's thank him. Let's say to him, Father, we thank you. Jehovah God, we thank you. Ekataya, Father, we thank you. Open your heart and thank him in the name of Jesus. Open your heart and worship him. Lift your voice in praise to him. Say, Daddy, we thank you for what you are doing, O oh God. Lift your voice to him. Somebody thank the Lord. Thank Jehovah God. Thank him. Thank Almighty God, thank Jehovah God for what he has done for us, what he has done for you. Thank him for what God is going to do in the name of Jesus. Thank Jehovah God. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's appreciate him. Thank for the miracle. Thank for what you're going to receive. Thank for the miracle in the name of Jesus. Thank Holy Spirit of God in Jesus' name. We pray. Let's say, Lord, as I'm here today, that you give your presence to me. Let's, I, I, I want you to know that Jesus Christ is here. Hello? Whether you believe it, if your heart is not totally open to it, you can't get it. Jesus is here. What I know, what make me to have that assurance is that he said when two or three gathers, he say he's going to be in our midst. But our thing is to function there. He's going to honor that word. Jesus, once you're with the cloud, gathering is unto you. He's going to be there. Right away is there. The presence is there. But our thing is to connect with you. What makes him to connect with you is your heart and your open spirit, open, open mind to him of his presence. Let's say, Daddy, reveal your presence to me. Let your presence touch me, O God. This morning that I'm here, let your presence rub on me. In that I know you are here according to your word, I believe. 
what you have said concerning you, that you're going to be here when two or three gather together. Now, I pray, let your presence touch me, O God, in the name of Jesus. Your presence that is here in the midst of your people. We are more than two here. He said, when two or three gathers together, he said, it's going to be in our midst. Let's say, Father, manifest your presence. Oh God, manifest your presence. In our midst, manifest your presence. In our life, manifest your presence. Lift your voice in the name of Jesus. Open your heart and pray to God, my Father and my God. Let your presence manifest in our midst. In the name of Jesus, let your presence manifest in our midst. Open your heart to God in the name of Jesus. Let your presence manifest in my life. Somebody pray that the presence of God to manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus, let the presence of God manifest in my life. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Quickly, you can have your seat. I know we're going to pray to, to, this morning. And time to pray, please, I want you to pray because... This season is time of prayer to lift our voice before God. I want to know the importance of prayer is what we need. That means important is very important to talk to God. Hallelujah. Life in life, there is no success without God. There is no achievement without God. Praise the Lord. What I say? There is no achievement without God. And there is no success without God. You can't have it. There's no way. You can't put God aside and say you want to have success. It doesn't look like, but at the end, failure is going to manifest. There's no doubt about it. I want to guarantee that. I begin to look into the life of two people. You know, and two people in life, I made the example of somebody. Things is going on fine. At the end, the story never ends well. We all know that. I begin to look to the life of this gentleman. That in my, I'm going to do a, a, a nice company in doing. I'm not saying this because something evil happened to that very person. But in, without God, there's no success. Hallelujah. There's, I've never seen it, anyone online that said, oh, without God, I have my success. That's the end of it, of the person. I've never seen anyone. Even though people have tried, people of the world have tried. And saying it, people of you have declared that, oh, there's no God, there's nothing like this. At the end, there's no success. Even though the strong man of the earth, the big people of the earth, the kings, hallelujah. So, you need to carry God along. That's why prayer, and what that prayer? By going to God. Hallelujah. By going to what? By going to God about your lackeys. Praise the Lord. By going to God about your life. You know, I was listening yesterday to a very musician person, you know, and uh, I just pay attention. It's not like that. But what catches my attention of what that person was saying is that I realized that isn't she is in the power to say this and that. He command, but at one point in time, that is powerless to certain things in life. That she is in the one position to say, oh, go and do this for me, go and do this for me. But at one point, she realized that certain things that she cannot do. Praise the Lord. That's where the position of God lies. Praise the Lord. Maybe she have money. That's why she's saying that I can do this, I can do that. But at one time in, in her life, she can't do this. She can't help to do certain things. That's why we need God. Hallelujah. We need God in this season. We need God this year. Praise the Lord. This is the beginning of the year. The Bible said, commit your way unto the Lord and he's going to do what to you. He's going to see you speak. Hallelujah. He said, commit your way unto the Lord. Commit your life to the Lord and God is going to see us through. Praise the Lord. I said this year, the Lord will see us through. And I hear that amen very loud. Huh? This year, the Lord will see us through. He's going to see us through. He's going to see your life through. He's going to see your children through. In the name of Jesus. Achievement only comes from him. Success is in the hand of him. No matter what you need in life is in this hand of God. And he's willing to give to his children. God is willing to give that success to you. God is not enjoying your failure. Because God is full of riches and glory. 
Hallelujah. God, God, God of heaven dwells in glory, not in poverty and shame. God himself. God himself. God is the splendor of God, his glory. He dwells in glory. Praise the Lord. And the same thing, if God dwells in glory, he don't want his children to live in poverty and shame. That's why he's preparing a place for us, which is heaven. Hallelujah. A place where there's gold and everything, the, 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 the land and everything is gold. You know, many things, you build it with beauty. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So God is not God of poverty and shame. God is not God of disgrace and disappointment. God is God of heaven that wants to help our life. And another God wants to help you is by going to him. By calling upon him. By lifting your voice before the Lord. And by crying to him. He said, commit your way unto the Lord. And the Lord is going to see you through. This year, the Lord will see you through. I know sometimes our heart is weary when you have prayed, you have fasted, you have done all kind of stuff, you have exercised every spiritual thing that you know and things still remain the same. Sometimes our heart is weary, you don't feel like doing anything anymore, you feel like giving up, you feel like putting everything down, but God said don't put it down, keep on keeping on, hallelujah. Do you know in the calendar of God, there's no quitting. There is no, so, no retreat and no what? No surrender. Hallelujah. In God's plan, in God's agenda. That's why some people preach that there is no anything from back. Every weapon is from the front. There is no anything to cover your back. Because God don't want you to face, want to run away from your battle. Praise the Lord. That's why you don't have an element for the back. God wants you to confront every battle of your life. Through him, you have victory. Hallelujah. Through him, you have success. Through him, you have everything. Praise the Lord. You know, you have God on your side. Everything is going to be well with because he knows tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen tonight, but he knows it. I don't know what is going to happen tomorrow morning, but him on my side, I have the hope of tomorrow. I pray that God will manifest in your life in Jesus' name. In this time that you are praying, please open your heart to God. In this time that you are lifting your voice, open your heart to God. Do it with all heartedly. Key into that moment with God. Key into that it can make life easy for you. It can make the journey to be shorter to get where you are going in life. He knows everything. But if you put God on one side and say, I want to run the journey on myself. And one thing that God does about, God will not say, don't do it. Praise the Lord. When that prodigal son demands for his own thing, his father never asked, is okay? Go and enjoy yourself. Go and do whatever you want to do. The same thing, if you choose to serve him, he stay with you. If you say, oh, put, you put him on the side, he stay there. Wherever you put God in your life is where you're going to stay. Wherever, anywhere you put God, that's where God is going to stay. God will not force anything. Why God is standing at the door of your life, knocking the door, when, when he has the key? Hallelujah. Have you ever, have you ever where, where, when God, he said, I will put upon him the shoulder, the key of David. That if he open, no one can shut. And if he shut the door, and no one can do what? And the man that has the key will stand in the door of your life. I mean, it's a choice. He wants you to open the door for you. Anything concerning your heart, any, any, anything concerning relationship with him, he wants those things to come from your own heart, not his forcing, his will on you. That's why he, the man that has the key, the man that can shut, even though they can close the door that you yourself you cannot open, is standing in the door of your life, knocking. And what he wants, he just wants you to accept him. Praise the Lord. Not forcing himself on you. So we need God in our life. We need God in our home. We need God in this season. And this world is going. This rate that we are seeing in the world, we need God. Success only comes from him. Blessing is only come from him. 
Glory is only come from him. Hallelujah. Joy only come from him. Satan has nothing to offer. Satan has nothing to give. I told you, I made it, I began to look at the life of two people this past week, and I looked at their life. To me, the, the, both life ended in tragedy. You know, but I look at why when the man is doing good, everything is going fine. It, it seems that he, I'm running success. Praise the Lord. Is it both of them are running success? Everything is good. You probably ab- admire them. But at the end, when devil strike, they can't able to hold back. They can't able to stand. That's what I want to say. They can't able to. So in life, you need God. The business probably moving forward, start so good, start so great. You probably be on the ladder quickly. You probably have that promotion. You probably have it all. Everything. But you probably have everything. If you look left and right, if God is not in it, it takes second. For Satan to destroy it. Hallelujah. For some Satan to kill, it takes just one second. Go and ask Job very well. Oh, very well. In one day, everything that he had, Satan finished it in one day. Both children and everything. In one day, from one bad news to another. From one bad news to another. From one bad news to another. another. Today, the Lord will give you victory. So, God is not God that you can put aside. What am I talking about? And then carry God along with your life. Carry God along with everything that you are doing. Carry God along with your children. Carry God. That's what only person that you need. Even though when everyone fail you. Hallelujah. That's the only person that you need. He say, if, he say, if my, my mother and my father forsake me. Hallelujah. Even though the parent is, he can forsake you. He said, but God is going to pick you up. The Lord will pick you up today. Open your Bible to Psalm 46. Open your Bible to Psalm 46. And we're going to pray because this time, as I have, we have declared fasting. I know some people, many of you, probably, I don't know whether you are doing, I don't know. Mm. Hallelujah. But I just want to encourage it's good to do it. It's good to, to pray. It's good to lift up your voice to God. In life, life, this life cannot just be. You see, people of this world have the understanding of the power. You can't get down with them. If you can't get down with the people of the world, you can't be. I'm just a natural person. They will swipe you off quickly. Hallelujah. You can't get that with God. And you can't get that with the people of the world. They will push you off. You're going to... The, the life is going to... See, things happen in life even though you don't understand. Praise the Lord. Things happen in life that you don't understand. Even though you don't know tomorrow. You probably start so good. You start so young. You start so, so good, great. But things happen in life. That's why you need God in your life. That's why you need to call upon the Lord and he's ready to answer. I know the devil will give a lot of example for you. What about those people? Their life get better. What about this? Listen. Hold on to your faith. Your faith in him. That the devil is a one that trick people. He want to push you off out of God's presence. He want to do all things to push you away. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Psalm 46. Psalm 46. Open your Bible to Psalm 46. He's saying, God is what? God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Hallelujah. Who is your help in time of trouble? Your brother, your mommy? Hallelujah. If, he said, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. A very present help in trouble. Hallelujah. So if any, any, anyone going through anything, that's only, the help only comes from God. I myself, I can't help you. I'm, I'm, I myself looking for my help. Hallelujah. You, if you depend on pastor to help you, pastor, I cannot help you. If you depend on your father, your father cannot help you. 
If you depend on your own strength, your strength cannot help you. Hallelujah. If you depend on money, money cannot do what? Do you, do you know a, a, a point in life where money fails someone? You don't know that? Money has failed some people in life. People of power in life. Money, they have it. But their money cannot save them. Yes, where money, money is helpless. Money cannot do anything for them. They have it, but they cannot save them. Is that not what you are looking for every day? Tomorrow you carry your bag again, you can't look for it. Hallelujah. But you come to a point in life where money cannot save. Is that not the scripture that told us money answered all things? It responds to things, but that money cannot respond to certain things in life. Where it now comes to, oh, what can I do? You have it, but you cannot save you. I can mention people in life that I know, people of this world that you also you know, that they have this money, but this money cannot save them. It cannot deliver them. Money fail them. Hallelujah. But one thing that can never fail is God. What thing that can never fail? Career fail. Wife fail husband. Husband fail wife. Children fail the parent. And the parent fail the children. Nation fails people. Your job failed you. Hallelujah. What cannot fail you is this God of heaven that cannot fail your life. A brother can fail. A sister can fail you. That's why he said, woe to anyone that put their trust in a man. If you put your trust, including you, you put your trust in yourself. Woe to that person. I can do this. I can do that. I can do it by myself. The Bible says, woe to that person that you put your trust in man or in yourself. You better carry, let's carry God along in anything that you are doing. Because what you carry, when you carry it along, it makes things to last for you. When you carry God along, he makes your children better. He gives you a better future. You enjoy life in a peaceful way. You have a good health. You have things around you. That, so, But when you put God aside, failure is certain. In this year, this is the beginning of the year. Are you thinking, what am I going to do for this God? Am I going to carry God along with all my life? Oh, I just want to put it aside. I want to go alone. Hallelujah. Your low ranger cannot help you. You can't go forward. The devil will deceive you that you are doing good. That's why you know that. What devil will do when you put God aside, he will deceive you. You can do it. That's number one thing that he's going to do. He's a deceiver. He's going to deceive you. You can do it. Can you see that? Ever see that? Don't play. Don't play too much. Play. Don't play. Don't play. I'm not saying don't play. Even though you don't, but you are going to that church. You are to be going. What is the difference you see? I see nothing. <laughs> Why are you wasting your time? Ever since we will serve him, is there any reward for your life? Yes. Yes. Has God ever reward you for any good thing? Yes. Yes. Nothing. Okay. So what are you doing? And you don't know what God is preparing for you. Ever since you have been there, since you have been given all this while, is, do you have to get any return? Ah, yes. I think you are chopping my money. Hallelujah. It's a deceiver. It turns your heart away from God. Because with him, he knows that you can do better. Praise the Lord. With God, you can do what? You, with God, you can do what? Satan knows that very well. That with God, you can do better. So he turned your heart away from God. He lowered your heart to things that is far off. And it's lowering you off out of it. It's lowering you out of God's presence. It's lowering you out of your place of refuge. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you, God is the place of refuge for every one of us. You see, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help. In trouble. Know that, register that in your mind. God is our refuge. My strength, 
power. That means strengthening power. My power. A very present. That is going to be, that is going to be there. Help to help you out of financial failure, out of disappointment. No matter what you are going through, that's why we need him. You need him. Don't worry. The Bible told us, it's not the word of God. Do not worry of what is good. Hallelujah. Do not worry of what? What is good? He said, in a good season, you're going to get the reward. See, listen, when we get to heaven, there are many things we go before God and God says, oh, okay, I'm tired, I'm tired. I said, but did I say to you that you should not worry? Uh, yes. Okay, then what happened? Uh, who wins at that moment? Is you or God? Is it you or God? When God told us in the scripture, do not worry. And you get, you get weary and you don't do anything anymore. And you get before the Lord and so say, oh, um, I'm tired. He said, but I say to you, do not worry. So who's going to win the argument? Who's going to win the argument? Because he has told you already. Oh, but Lord, I pray, I pray, I never receive answer. Do you get a result? No. But what do you do? I quit. Did I say to you that you should pray until your joy is to be full? Yeah, did your joy full? You say, no, um, I'm waiting for it. Don't go back inside. Don't pray now. Don't talk about it. See, God is going to beat everyone down. It is too much for you. Hallelujah. God is our refuge at the present help in trouble. Therefore, I will not fear. Fear not. Great thing is coming your way. Great thing is coming to your life. Great thing is going to happen to you. Through the earth give away and the mountain fall into the heart of the sea. To the water roll and form and the mountain high and mountain and earthquake with a strength thing. He said there's a river whose stream make glad in the city of God. The holy place with the most high dwells. He said God is with us. God will be with you. Say that amen louder. God will be with you. You don't know when the, the importance of God being with someone. When God is on your side, nothing can hold you down. You see, if God is for me, nothing shall be worth against me. I say, God will be with you. Say that amen very well. God will be with you. In the name of Jesus. He said, God is with her. She shall not fall. You will not fall in Jesus' name. You will not fall in Jesus' name. You will not fall in Jesus' name. He said, God will help her at the breaking of the day. Hallelujah. God will do what? God will help her at the breaking of what? Of the day. Let's rise upon our faith. I say, I want us to pray. Even though it's five minutes, I know the prayer continue. Even though it's five minutes, I want that you are to pray that prayer very well. But this God that you're asking from him, he needs something from you. At this moment, you need your open heart to him. Number one, you need your open heart to God. You think God is just, come, let's come to a point of, that I just table all what I need. Do you think God has needs? Do you think God has needs? God has needs. Not about your needs alone. God have a need that you should be a blessing, meeting God's need through you to others. God have a need. But his needs, that mean you being a blessing to others. But God can do without you. But you cannot do without him. God has a need. God will not walk in physically. Into, if, if it has happened, it can be. And if you want him to choose to do that, angels of God can walk in right here as a human being into this church and do if God choose to do whatever. Is that not Jesus Christ? Then if he choose people not to worship me, I'm going to tell the story. So he can do without you. Hello? Well, God can do what? He can do without anybody. He can do with any, any pastor. Praise the Lord. Now listen to me. Just please help me. You only give me privilege. Please. No matter, yeah, that's my prayer. Even though if I say, oh, you are doing this to me, you are doing this. And you say, oh, but uh, it's the privilege you give to me. It's a privilege. Hallelujah. Is that not uh, Elijah that boasted, thought, I am the only one here. 
I am the only one. What God told him? Shh, shut up, Mr. Man. I have 7,000. God is the only one. And God said, listen, listen. 7,000 like you, I have it. See? Many of you that are here, God have, God have a replacement. What I say? I want you to know that. Know that. Register that in your mind. God have what? I'm this, I'm that. He has a replacement. To anyone to any level, he has a, he has a replacement. He sent Trump out. Who enter again? Uh -huh. If Biden full of himself again, he sent him out. He took hard one. If I, if me too, he has a, he has a replacement. What I say? To any pastor, to anybody on this earth, God have what? A, re a replacement is jogging, warming up. Hallelujah. He pushed, hey, come out. You enter. God, you don't play with God. It's too much. Anything I got, you, you salute. I honor. Even though you argue too much, you throw him to F5. Praise the Lord. Don't throw people to F5. If they say fire, you kill. He said, fear not. He said, fear the one that can kill. He kill your spirit. You die. Your, your, your body die. Your spirit die. He kills you totally. It's too much. Because we don't sing, that's why we uh, he don't show himself to us. We think we are just we are made. What are you doing? Look at you, you don't know me. When he appeared to children of Israel, he appeared to them. They said to Moses, begin to hear God by yourself. Whatever he said to you, come and tell us. Say, fear not. God is just telling you to fear him. Just want to show himself to you. They hear the thunder was raining, everything was everything was moving. He said, listen, this is too much for us to bear. You hear God and come and tell us. Hallelujah. Listen, God wants you to, you want to do those things on your own. You can't put him aside. Give all your service. The only promise, the, all what you are doing needed one thing. <laughs> That's why I made a transaction of two people to you. Those people, they have a business. I said, I told you about the man. I want to start a business. Uh, we, we gather the money together, all the money, everything. Everything we gather for. You know the story of a man. I forgot to look at the story. I think he's doing, he's doing business. They said, in everything I need, he has it. You probably have a billion of dollars in your account. He has a billion. You need one thing. That you need a blessing of God. Not the blessing of yourself. What did I say? You can have the blessing of yourself of keeping the money. But the blessing of God upon everything that you do in life, he makes you to enjoy it. At the end, both of them was killed. They die. As you know, that there's a blessing of God upon what they're doing in life. They have it. Satan will not cut them short. He will live. Things will go. They will not fall sick. The blessing of God is needed upon every life. I need it. You need it. Your children need it. You can do good. You might have a good career. You might have everything. You might be, you, you are the one everybody needs in life. But one thing that is one that thing is missing in the life of some of them is God's blessing over your life. God's touch over you. You miss it all. You probably gather it. You probably don't have time to enjoy it. You probably have it. You probably don't have it for long. Hallelujah. God cannot be put aside. You need him. God cannot be ignored. You can't be at your back seat and you be in front. If you are in front today, get out of that place now. Let it take its place and see what is driving your life. Hallelujah. Is your place of refuge? Joshua said, choose this day who you want to serve. Hallelujah. Now let's choose today the one that we want to serve. This God that can break the yoke of your life, that can lift you, that can lift you up to generations, that can lift you up to generations. Listen, a father can have a blessing. If the blessing of God is on him, he dies with that blessing, then he cannot pass it to his children alive. You can have things where you cannot, your children can do nothing in life at the end. 
where even though your name cannot be remembered no more, you mention some names, oh, who is that? You don't know the person. Hallelujah. I don't know as we are walking out of this place, take that God with you and let it stay with you with everything. Listen, honor where he choose to aim. Honor your gift to God. Honor he gives to back to you. The way you look at him, the way you look at you. You don't know that? Hello? The way you look at God is the same way he's going to look at you. The time you give to him is the time you're going to get from him. Hallelujah. Whatever you give to him is what he's going to give you back. Everything has a measure. They are put together. You can't outgive give him. You can't put him aside. You need him. You know a lie. And that's what devil want to take away from you. That's one person. The devil is want to take away from us. Let me get God out of his life and see. You know that he has the chance. When God is out of our life, devil has what? Devil has a chance. Hundred, I guarantee, more than hundred percent chance. He will just enter. I'm a Lou and Ben. Hallelujah. The Lord will break the yoke of the enemy in Jesus' name. Now lift your voice and begin to thank the Lord. Say, Father, I thank you for this moment in my life. Begin to thank Him for this privilege He has given to me. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Let's give that honor to Him. Let's give that praise to him. Let's give that honor to him. Lift your voice. Repato le machite de le moshandi aba. Repato de geseke te le machinti le mostia. Open your heart to pray. Rebasinto to le machite ya. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the privilege for me to be alive. In the name of Jesus, ye katele makuso tole masandia. Ribado tele makuso tole makata yaba. Mato paruso tole makasate. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, to pr we pray. Yesterday, I was listening to the noise. I said, oh, what they have sent to the, uh, to the stage, that thing now uh, is functioning now. I want to know how the war started. In my eyes, I was looking at it. The conclusion, you don't have to worry yourself. The Bible talks about how the world started. Everything formed. You see, God created the heaven and earth. Now, so all what you have been reading about the scientists, they are just failing. They don't know anything yet. They are still making the research. Hello? So, out now, if they come to conclusion, they will not say, oh, they are still... Now, you know that thing they launched this almost billions, and they have been doing this thing for almost 30 years. To put that thing together, they send it now. So we know, we know better how this world formed. Why are you struggling? The science people that you believe don't even don't know. They are not sure. Hallelujah. Where the Bible told you God made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Listen, to me, you can say spiritual thing, whether I'm from God. Listen, I know you go through things in life, it wearies your heart. But I can assure you 100 percent I hear God. And I've seen God at work 100%. You can, I don't lie to you. I know. That's, I've seen God at work. God I, by word to you, personal word. Oh, that can say, oh, there is one supreme brain. Not only my illusion or my just something that I've brought onto you. I've heard God. I've seen God like this, like this. This is what it is. This is what it is. That beyond a man reason. So in my heart, I knew there is a God. That's beyond what we are talking about. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Have you ever seen somebody call your name one day and say, who's talking? Hallelujah. Have you heard that before? Have you heard that before? Have you heard that before? There is God that I know in my heart. There is God of heaven that seated that control the affairs of men. Praise the Lord. So that God cannot be ignored. So if people are still looking for it, he has given you the way to know him. Why don't you just get into it? Say, Father, I thank you for this privilege of knowing you. Lift your voice and begin to thank him for this privilege of knowing God. He can't, he says he's our refuge, our place of strength. Open your heart and pray. 
Madaka to prende shikete lima rosa de ripato ko takaya na makushata madoli makusho doli makushi ketelebo ripata kama boso toye kapakaba Father we thank you for what you are doing oh God in my life in the name of Jesus metse tete rimato paru pate kete mateke proda kata yada ba ripatori mashikelebo ko para Father, we thank you, Lord, for what you are doing in our own, oh God. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want to begin to lift our voice and say, Father, every power that wants to make you a liar in my life, even though in me, in, in, in yourself, whether pride, whatever thing, that want to make you a liar, Every power that I want to make you a liar in my life, Father, begin to remove it in Jesus' name. Whatever thing that I mean, whatever thing that's in my life, that I want to make you a liar, Father, will begin to break it down. Open your heart and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. Father, Mato parusa teli makataya. Open your heart to pray. Mako parupa teke. Ikatoli mako shandele boko parusa. Whatever thing that's in me, whatever thing that's in my life, that want to make you a liar. In the name of Jesus, everything that's in me that don't want your glory to function. Open your heart to pray. Let God of heaven begin to destroy it. Open your heart to God in the name of Jesus. Repate. I am, uh, whatever thing that's in my life, uh, whatever thing that's in my home, I don't want the glory of God to manifest. In the name of Jesus, let those power begin to destroy. Open your heart to pray. Rapata kata ikatele mo shetele mo ripateli mashita yabo. Open your heart to pray in the name of Jesus. Masikete li matayada ba ripato katu tele masete ripato li makata yabo. Open your heart to God in the name of Jesus. Whatever thing. That's in me that don't want to make that will want to make you a liar. Father, break the yoke in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Pray that the in your glory manifest to me. Let me experience the glory of you. It makes life easy for you when you experience the gloss glory. He said, when they hope the far, it makes what weary. It makes your heart to weary when you don't when you don't get what you need in life. But if you truly really love the Lord, you will not. You will not worry because, ah, okay, I know he, he knows the best for me. Hallelujah. When hope defar, it makes us worry. I don't want to go to church anymore. I don't want to pray anymore. I don't want to do it anymore because you are expecting certain things. It defars your heart. He knows about it. He, that word is declared to God to you. But, you say, but when you have that, it's a tree of life in you. It makes life in you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every areas of my life went up this defar. Say, Father, let there be life of you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, say, any form of delay, any form of delay, in the name of every form of holding back, in the name of Jesus, be removed in any areas of life where up is defar. Say, Father, come through for me. In the name of financial breakthrough, come through for me. Ask the Lord to come through for you. Ask the Lord to come through for your children. In the name of Jesus. In any area that enemy is defying the hope of your life. Define the hope of your glory. Say, Father, come through for me in this season. Father, come through for me in this season. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my daddy. In Jesus' name, we pray. I hear that voice say, pray and break the yoke of struggling. I want us to pray. I mean, let the yoke in that name to that yoke to struggle in life break over me. What that means, yokes to someone struggle. You will not be able to achieve what you want to achieve. You find it difficult. Where thi where things things people are doing so easy, when they come to that point, you just find it so difficult. Let's pray the yoke. That makes my life to struggle. The yoke that makes my dream. It can be in a generation. It can be whatever yoke that, that's in your life that make our life to struggle. That make your work to struggle. In me, in my life. That it break that yoke to me. In the name of Jesus. Can you open your heart and begin to pray? In the name of Jesus. 
pray that Lord should break the yoke that makes your life to struggle. Father, in the name of Jesus, break that yoke in my life today. I struggle no more. I struggle no more. I struggle no more spiritually. I struggle no more. In the name of Jesus, I struggle no more. Open your heart to pray. That yoke na takatakatayaba. Repatutole mashatayabo kapa. Pray, 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 pray. That Lord should break the yoke. That make your dream to struggle. That make your children to struggle. That make your marriage to struggle. That make your life to struggle. Open your heart to pray that Lord should break that yoke. In the name of Jesus. Let the yoke that make me to struggle break today. I struggle no more. I struggle no more. I struggle no more. I struggle no more. In the name of Jesus, I struggle no more. Open your heart to pray. I struggle no more. In the name spiritually, I struggle no more. I struggle no more. I struggle no more. In the name of Jesus, Yekatayaba. Ikatalima Shikele Bokaba. Open your heart to pray to God. I struggle no more. In the name of Jesus. In this season, in this year, I struggle no more. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray in all my ways. I struggle no more. In this ministry, we struggle no more. In this church, we struggle no more. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart and pray, Rabatakaba. For I break the yoke of struggling in my life in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of struggling in my life. I break that yoke, a that we struggle no more, oh God, in the name of Jesus, to excel in life, to do great things. Uh, open your heart and pray, pray that Lord, you over God to break that yoke, in the name of Jesus. Open your heart and pray, Rabaka Shandi Abu, Lipatoni Lemo Shantia, Ribata Kababo Soto Yabo. Open your heart to God, that Lord, you break the yoke, that make our dream to struggle, that make our life to struggle, that make our children to struggle, that make our marriage to struggle in the name of Jesus that yoke in our life, that yoke in our own, that yoke in our life in this year, we struggle no more we struggle no more we struggle no more to do great things we struggle no more to achieve in the name of Jesus in this church we pray that you in Jesus name we pray what, what caused the yoke? the Bible told us in that 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9 he says, for a door, a wide door is open for me. Feel the door of effective works as open to me. He said, but one thing that makes the, the struggle to continue is what? Because the adversary, the enemies of the dreams, the enemies of your life. Let me tell you, don't deceive yourself. Everyone, enemy. Except you are just lying to yourself. There's an enemy in the family. There's an enemy in the church. Don't think everybody that you see that is uh, with church. No, forget about it. There's an enemy among your friends. How are you? I love you. Hello. No. There's an enemy everywhere. And the normal enemy is Satan himself. That imparts those people with his own agenda. Hallelujah. He imparted his own agenda to steal, to kill into the heart of those people. So he carry my agenda out. That sister, I don't want her to prosper. And the, 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 that thing, I don't want this thing to move forward. He said, there are many effective people that are open for me. He said, but the adversary, let's say, Lord, every adversary of my life, every adversary of my dreams, every adversary Jesus have assignment, but there's a vastity to his dream. Everyone you carry glory, except you don't have glory. Everyone that carry glory, even, even the president is not the vastity. He has his own thing as the president of America. People come against him. Biden is doing nothing. There's nobody send him out. Even at the top of, or at the top, on top. Hallelujah. At the top, people are telling him a vastity. A vastity is everywhere. Whether you don't have, even though as you don't have anything. People say, Sad that poor man, he has nothing. There's still adversary to him. Let's pray. Every adversary of my dreams, every adversary of my life, in this very 2022, I must experience a fullness of God's blessing. Every adversary to that blessing, every adversary to that, my moving forward, 
every adversity to my going I am surrender at the feet of Jesus Christ surrender at the presence of Jesus Christ this morning surrender at the presence of Jesus Christ this morning Jesus Christ is here open your heart and pray say at the presence of Jesus Christ every adversity in the name of Jesus every adversity of my life every adversity of my children at the presence of Jesus the King of Kings the Lord of Law surrender today Open your heart and pray. In the name of Jesus, pray, pray, pray to the God. Every adversary to my life, every adversary to my glory, at the presence of Jehovah God, surrender. Open your heart to Him. Every adversary to my life, every adversary to my glory, in the name of Jesus. Every adversary to that your business, to that your career, to that your children, every adversary to your life. Open your heart and pray. Surrender, surrender, surrender the presence of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Surrender the presence of Jehovah God. Every adversary to my health in the name of Jesus. Every adversary to my life. I say surrender at the presence of Jesus. At the presence of Jehovah. Oh my God, in Jesus' name we pray. Pray that God that answer my fire. Is that quickly? On that mountain camel, God never wastes time. He, he respond quickly. Let God that answer my fire answer quickly in the name of Jesus. Say that amen louder. Every adversary of your life, every adversary of your dreams, every adversary of your children. Let you have God put them to shame in the name of Jesus. Before you begin to declare what you want, let's pray for the church. You know, you know, when you look at the church, many of us, you like something that is good. The what is good only comes from you. You giving yourself to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, let's pray for the church. They're always going to be adversity to the church of God. Jesus talked about them. But he said, but they will not prevail. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Say, Father, every adversity to your work in this place, oh God, that is begin to scatter. What I say? You don't want to say it. Are you among them? Say it loud. Say it loud. Say, Father, every adversity to your work in this place, oh God. Every adversity to the growth of this church, every adversity to the revival of this church, Holy Spirit begin to scatter them. Scatter, 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 scatter. In the name at the presence of Jehovah God this morning. Because Jesus is here. Every adversity to your church, every adversity to this ministry, oh God. Remember, you are part of it. As you are praying, and you are praying for yourself. Every adversity to for Christ evangelical ministry. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, scatter them. In the name of Jesus, let the of Jesus wipe it off. Every Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I don't know why in prayer I'm looking at a powder. I don't use the powder. Hallelujah. He said, let the blood of Jesus wipe every evil powder off. I don't use a powder, so I don't know why I'm not using it. I just see a powder. Hallelujah. Let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to do what? Every form of evil in this place. Every form of agenda of evil in this place. The blood of Jesus begin to wipe it off. Can you lift your voice and begin to pray? In the name of Jesus. Every form of evil works in this place, oh God. Wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe the blood of Jesus, speak over it. Uh. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus speak over it. Uh. Open your heart to pray, let the blood of Jesus Christ speak over it. Uh. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of the Lamb speak over it. Uh. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Say that amen louder. Say that amen. Say that him louder. 
I just want to encourage us. Please, we are passing our time. And I know that our time comes from Bible study, Bible Sunday school, running to our service. Assuming every one of us will determine to be here on time, doing the things, we finish at exactly time, and we go, we go home. Because we are late. I know many of you are late. It is past one now. You are supposed to go home. You came late too. Hallelujah. But that's not okay. That's not, that's not just right to you. Praise the Lord. This year, they just changed our mindset. They just function in that thing. That was supposed to say grace. Hallelujah. And yeah. So if we are here on time, we are able to go on time. Praise the Lord. Just change that mind. Individually, let that have that mindset. The time has been set on day. And I know the Lord Jehovah God will do great things in our life. Praise the Lord. Now ask God for what you need right now. What do you want God, what do you want to achieve through this prayer? What do you want to achieve through this prayer? What do you want God to do for you through this prayer? What do you want the result to be of you calling upon the Lord? What do you want the result to be of you calling, seeking the face of God in this season? What do you want God to be for you? What do you want the result to be for your life? Lift your voice and tell him, in the name of Jesus, Father, I cry to you concerning life, concerning my children, concerning everyone that is here this morning, oh God, and those that are watching, oh God. Let that be miracle, oh God. Let that be blessing of you, oh God. Turn the story of their life around. Let them shine. Let that be ideas from heaven that will lead them to break through. Ideas for success. Ideas in the name of Jesus. Let that be new innovations in the name of Jesus. A new vision in the name of Jesus. Let it begin in the life of everyone right now in the name of Jesus. A great connection that will bring that your request to come to pass. Thank you, Father. Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say that amen louder. Now begin to declare upon yourself. Say, Father, you will have mercy on me. You will bless me. You will cause your face to shine on me. Can you declare that to yourself? In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You will have mercy on me. You will be merciful unto me, O God. Lord, you will bless me. You will cause your face to shine on us. That you will have mercy upon this church. You will bless this church. You will cause your face to shine upon us. Father, you will do it, O God. In the name of Jesus. Father, you will do it, O God. Father, you will do it, O God. Lord, you will have mercy upon our requests. You will turn the atmosphere around. You will turn every life around. And your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, righteous God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Receive the blessing of God in the name of Jesus. And let that blessing be permanent in Jesus' name. In this prayer, there shall be a result. There shall be a great result. There shall be a great result. There shall be a great result for your life in the name of Jesus. As you call, the Lord will answer. As you look unto him, you will find them. He will show himself stronger. Every enemies of your life, will de- that the Lord will defeat them. Every evil covenant over your life. Every adrighted in the name of Jesus. That's not of God in your life. Everyone will wipe it off. Say that amen louder. Every covenant over your life. Every handwriting over our life. The blood of Jesus Christ will wipe it all. We experience a new thing. A great thing as of today. A new ideas. A new ideas. A new vision. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will release unto you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say that amen louder. Let's clap for Jesus. Please, when I encourage you, get into the flow. You don't fast, you don't pray. I live my life. It will not take you anywhere. I don't pray, I don't do anything. Okay. <laughs> the Bible talks about the storm of life. So get into flow. Get to, I, I, I don't say you should fast before also. 
That's not, I don't know your capacity. I, but you do your best. What I mean when I say fasting, declare every day at the moment that, oh, I'm seeking the face of God today. To that moment that you have declared it. If I wake up at 6 o'clock and wrap your food nine o'clock, if I don't encourage you to do that, you'll go beyond that. Hallelujah. That's not fasting. Nine o'clock, you are looking. You wake up at 6 o'clock, you are looking at nine. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that. But you know what your, what your, your art is seeking the face of God to your own capacity of your stomach. Hallelujah. And the Lord of God will answer you. In the name of God. And also, get into the flow time we are praying, which I also am going to find time that the church also has to pray. You pray for the church. Also pray. Pray. You want a miracle in the church. You never pray for the church. Nothing will happen. It's not a magic. You want a miracle for the church, but you don't ever pray for the church. Nothing will happen. So get in flow and pray for the church as you are praying. And I know that Lord Jehovah God will do great things in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Quickly, Brother Tokumara, we thanks David. Let it give you thanks, David, very quickly. I give, up, give him a song and we give thanks to God. serious about that. It's, it's something to be alive, to witness your birthday. I, this place was going to be filled. I, I'm not too happy about it. I'm, t- I'm, I'm being honest with you. Rejoice with those that are rejoicing. That's what the Bible said. I turned 52. Many don't get to live to be 40. I'm rejoicing. I'm excited. I'm happy. The Bible said, teach us to number our days. Every time I come here every year, I have covenanted with God that as long as I live, I will always come out to thank God. Four years ago, it it could never have been this. So every birthday has a new meaning to me. Even though some might be looking at it as you're getting close to the grave, but I'm still here. Many don't live to be 40 or 30. I'm 52 for crying out loud. I am grateful to be alive. I have one or two songs to sing. She me no re Oluwa 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 Oluwa do pe Oh, I 
Father, so your, son, your son is here to return all the glory back to his name, to thank him for this year, for this privilege, for this love that you have showered upon him. Daddy be that glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, I said this thanksgiving before you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I now pour your blessing upon his life. Pour your glory upon his life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. he has returned the glory back to you. Father, let it begin to experience your presence in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it begin to see a turn around in every area of his life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to fulfill all his dreams. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God, that he returned all the glory back to him. Let that God be your God today. Amen. And let it begin to show himself strong. Over every areas of your life, your desires of your heart that you are praying for, let heaven release unto you. Amen. No more deny, no more delay, Amen. no more holding back in the name of Jesus. Heaven release unto your life. Amen. Go in this blessing Amen. and come with a great testimony. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Can we say that? Amen louder. Amen. Can we say that? Amen louder. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. It's good to give thanks to God. Hallelujah. In all things that we do. And I pray that Lord Jehovah God will help us in Jesus' name. Just put in mind our prayer continue. Our prayer continue. Um, to today, tomorrow, please. Just let your heart, your heart jam for that time. Pray. Prayer is no bad thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Prayer prevents a lot of pain, even the ones we don't know. Hallelujah. Prayer is needed. So, key into it. Let your heart jam. Put, put, work, work, work. Work one day. <laughs> they'll put, you don't want to trouble, they'll put food in front of you. Say, <laughs> you can't even hear it. It's time to give yourself to, to God in seeking the face of him in the beginning of the year and tell him, Daddy, I need help. I need, I've been doing it. I've been, I need the help. And what I know one thing, if you ask five truly to him, he will answer you. I pray the result will come in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And let, let the workers wait and uh, fulfill because of our time now. Just want to run a little thing. And, uh, and I know that Lord Jehovah God will do great things. Workers, if you know you are workers, you know, let's share the grace in fellowship together for the grace of Jesus Christ. The love of God and His will for us will be strong. Be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy all the days of our life will be there for us forever and ever. Amen. Can somebody shout a big hallelujah? Is that you too shouting? Shout it that you have a food in you. So you have been eating already. Shout it very well. Let's shout.
shout that hallelujah to almighty God. Hallelujah. You are blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you.